to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. My name is Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. Oh, we're doing this again. I am <laughs> Brian Bryman Peacock. Yeah, you're gonna introduce yourself from now on. All right. We have a very special guest here, Jeremy, the coach, not Coachman Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Brooks? How are everybody doing? You know, it's an honor to be here with Jacob and Brian here. And is Brian's, it an honor? I mean, oh, it, actually, it actually, really is. You know, <laughs> it really is. You know, this is a man cave, like one of the best man caves in Citrus County <laughs> to this day. That's I, good to know. It really is, and I'm kind of jealous. Get his eyesight checked. <laughs> hey, look it's not at even you. set up yet. Yeah, we got a couch and recliner. What all you need? You it's know, a nice. It is a nice recliner. I it know, is. and I'm jealous. You sitting in it, but you know. <laughs> oh, I like. know. That's why I came and sat in it first. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool y'all doing this, and I'm happy to be a part of it and all that, you know. And the little bit of experience I had, it's a cool story. I was working in a bar in Tampa. And uh, called a Dubner Irish Pub, so in South Tampa, you know, all the rich folk and all that stuff. And uh, it was a real hot spot for the wrestlers. You know, when they come to Tampa, they always came to a dub or make dates and stuff like that. So and that's when <clears throat> FCW was down there, right? right? Before they went to NXT, yeah, yeah. And uh, and before they moved to Orlando, you know, that was when they had a, their training grounds over there. And uh, I was working one night, and Sheamus, Drew McIntyre. Who's back now. Yeah. That is cool. Yes. That is cool. He looks better, too. Yeah. He looks like a man on a mission about to yeah. kiss a mask, and he needs to do that. I wonder if he's still using the old music. I love his old music. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not. Probably not. Yeah, we'll see. If they get him his old music, they need to get Cesaro his old music back. Oh, um, well, uh, you're talking about the... Um, the the one you couldn't understand. The little... Oh, it's not a rap song, but it sounds pretty cool. Oh, I, I vaguely really remember, remember that. that. Before, before he hooked up with Paul Heyman and all that. Right. I like the when him and Jack Swagger were a tag team. I ain't like, like him dun, tag team. Dun, 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 that badass know. music. I no, I don't like Jack Swagger as a tag team. I just like that music. Right, right, right. You know, but I, him and who else? Ted DiBiase. I think that was it. And uh, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre saw me and they looked at me. I'm like, oh, God, my heart started racing. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have a, uh, like three strokes and a heart attack looking at the dudes, and he said, "Come here, laugh." I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> Come here, laugh. That's how you know this is legit. <laughs> yeah, must have been Sheamus. Now, was Sheamus had he been champion or anything at this point? I think it was before he had that push. Okay. You know that uh, when he won the ladder, uh, Money in the Bank match. Right. I think I was looking for that. That was okay. that was when CM Punk was doing his pipe bombs all over yep. the place, and The Rock came back. Well, now was oh, Sheamus right. in FCW at this point? No, he was he was on the main roster. Yeah, okay. Because I, I saw Sheamus while he was in, in FCW. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Well, he was on the main roster. It was that Raw when The Rock came back. I think it was WrestleMania in Miami. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, it was okay. that WrestleMania because The Rock came back. Okay. And he was telling stories about how he used to train in Tampa and go back to Miami and stuff and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, Sheamus caught me over there and he's like, you know, you look like somebody. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. I said, well, who do I look like, sir? You know, I'm shaking when I said, sir. He couldn't tell. It was dark outside. But uh, <laughs> he said, you like Mark Henry. I'm like, well, my mom told me that was my stepdad, and they all start laughing and stuff. I'm like, oh, my God, I wish man fucking live. Ah! <laughs> you know, that's pretty cool. And uh, You do look like Mark Henry. I do. I could get away with it if I, you know, get back in the weight room a little bit, <laughs> drink more beer. But they took a picture with me. Really? All, all three of them took a picture with me. And now, when they took that picture, I, I looked up. And I thought I was looking at that in the moon, but it was Seamus. <laughs> That's how white the dude was. I believe that. <laughs> you know? I've seen him in person too. Yeah, he's... you have to wear shades when he walk by. <laughs> does he yeah. go to the opposite of a tanning booth? Yeah, he basically. must. Yeah, yeah, he does. Actually, he looks darker now, so I'm kind of shocked. You know, I, but you know, he got a little shaded darker. So they took a picture and they sent it to Mark Henry. <laughs> and then Seamus oh, said, "Hey, Mark, I found you a lone lost son." And I'm like, oh, God, this is so freaking awesome. <laughs> and the owner of the bars, he's a big wrestling fan, too. We One day, we stay at, at the bar. The bars in Tampa close at 3 o'clock. We stood there to 7 o'clock talking about wrestling. Wow. Nice. With, that, the, with the guys, yeah. the wrestlers? No, with the, the owner of the bar. Oh, talking, okay. You know that. And some of the some of the, the up-and-coming wrestlers, okay. like from FCW, used to come in there. And I'll, let me finish the story, and I got no. Okay. And, uh. 
So he sent the picture to my funny logs and uh, Mark Henry text back, man, fuck you, man, that ain't my son. I got my two boys here. <laughs> he said, but tell him to cut his hair and I'll talk to him. Like, oh <laughs> my God, this is so awesome. So I mean, started, I, we started talking more and he gave me tickets to go to Raw. And all the good seats, he gave me like three tickets. And I brought uh, a best friend of his little kid, his little brother, who was a big wrestling fan. I had to take him before I went to up about it, so I just took him. <laughs> Very and, cool. Uh, oh, he was—he knew more about idea. I'm like, good night, man. I'm like, almost that, bad. I'm that's hard dead. to do. <laughs> you know, he's a big John Cena fan, so I had to throw him in a push and punch him in the stomach a little bit, but he ain't a wrong dad. Name of this episode is going to be Mark Henry's long lost son. Yes. <laughs> yes. I do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be. But uh, a couple of times we stayed late at the bar. We had the Hart Dynasty tag team. Bofo. Wow. Dave Boy Smith and... Uh, uh, Tyson Kidd. Tyson Tyson Kidd. Kidd. Yeah, I heard Davy Boy's a prick. You know what? I can see that in him. Yeah, I can see it. he got he got that look that's like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a Canadian, eh? Fuck off. Yeah, <laughs> which is very un-Canadian <laughs> from at least what we understand here in America. But, <laughs> but when he, we was, I guess we were just giving free beer, so he was cool. <laughs> but I, I can see the the prickiness in him. That you had, you know, some of the kids that was. I don't know. I just call them kids. Some of the wrestler that was in FCW still that was you know in the training circuit and all that stuff. That's who I was really friends with. Right. Because I saw him every time I go to work. They always came in, and I, I can't remember the one dude name, but he still wrestles down in Tampa. We got in a chop match one time, and I said chop me. He said I can't chop. I said chop me, fool. Don't be stupid. <laughs> and he chopped me so bad I shit it three times and pissed four. <laughs> Didn't even know I did. Got home, smelled shit, <laughs> saw piss, sat in the bathtub. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh man. So, he well, chopped me. Dra- a drastic turn. Hey. Oh, it was bad. So, uh, he chopped me, and I'm, oh, yeah, I freaking freaked out. And he said, chop me back. I won't actually punch his ass, because he, he got me pretty good. <laughs> but I chopped him so hard, he looked at me like, oh, crap, I wasn't expecting that. So, we got, like, we chopped each other, like, nine times, until my whole right titty was numb. <laughs> So everybody in the bar thought I was fighting the wrestler. Oh, so geez. all his wrestling buddies run up there, and all everybody that worked at the bar run up. They're like, "Oh my god, what's going on?" And we're like, "It's cool. We just playing. <laughs> fight, 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 <laughs> oh, fight." Geez. So they like they like legit want us to do a, a daggone match. I'm like, "Let me stone you. Let me stone you." He said, "Heck no. Fight's over." <laughs> we're back in the back, but you know, I, it was it was a nice experience. You know, what Orlando is doing right now is what Tampa was doing before. Right. They had all the wrestlers there. The wrestlers was big in the community of Tampa. Yeah. And that transition is going down I-4 in Orlando. And you're starting to see in Orlando now. I live in Orlando now. And, you know, WrestleMania week was freaking crazy. You know, every day I drove by the stadium crying, looking at it. (laughs) <laughs> you didn't have tickets to get I in. I didn't have tickets to get in. Man, but that's sad. Did you see the roller coaster? Above oh, dude, the I, I, dude, I was there. I saw him build some bitch. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. And it took them, you know, I, I'm standing there, I'm like, they ain't going to get down this crap. They hired local guys for the <laughs> ring crew. You could have. I did. <laughs> if I wasn't yelling at white kids running yeah, on the field, I probably would have done it. But, you know. Right? <laughs> but it was, you know, from the Access or NX, whatever you call it, to all the house right. shows they did. You know, every nightclub in Orlando had a, a wrestling match. And yeah, I got tagged with some of that. He didn't know ROH did a show in Lakeland. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. I, we I, almost went I to I wanted it. to go so bad. I, I, I want to go see one of the matches, dude. Um, I love ROH. Next time they come down here, we have yeah. to go. Like, no excuses. Somehow we have to figure it out. I agree with that. Um, we, um, last night there was a show. I think I think I told you about yeah, it. Yeah, I saw you yeah, we, on Facebook. That's right, yeah. But we couldn't <clears> go. We had something... Slightly wrestling more has it tomorrow. Wrestling. We can give them a shout out. <coughs> yeah, wrestling has it tomorrow. Maybe awesome we'll get some, name. Yeah, and their logo is pretty badass. Wait, that's the name. The rest, yeah. yeah, wrestling has it tomorrow. Holy crap! And their logo is badass, man. Like as a graphic designer, I love their uh, logo. Yeah, yeah I as an ex graphic designer, that's too. pretty good. Hey, hey, props to y'all for that name. Who who does shit like that? Normal people. Hey, do you uh you remember Mark? Uh, Death Mark. Yeah, he just got married. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he lost last night. But he was there. He wrestles with them? Yeah. Nice. So. Nice. Uh, sorry, lost Mark, but uh, maybe we'll get you on here sometime. Mark, we might jump you at a wrestling man. Just give us a <laughs> shot, you know. We'll, we'll see. I wore my tuxedo like I used to back in the day, but I don't think I can fit in it now. I still have my big B jacket. <laughs> big B. <So. laughs> I need to get in shape. I would love to wrestle again. 
I'm in with it. Which is how I met you was at WWW. And Worldwide wrestling. Yeah, well, that was at Lance House, wasn't it? No, that no. was the school. That was school? school. That yeah. was, okay, that was school. That was, oh, I forgot, I thought it was a different name. No, it was W, because I did the graphic design for them. What was the one at Lance yeah. House? EPW, Elite oh, Pro okay. Wrestling. And I called it a stream. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job, owner of the company, quote, unquote. Hey, I had a rough day, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You were the owner of the company. <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was some good names right there. We need to do one more match. Oh, yeah, we keep saying it. We and now we can. Want to. We can. I just have to. I have a lot of things I need to fix first. But, uh. No, I'm in the same boat with you on that one. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it one time. I don't know. Maybe we'll do I it one. I had a vision about. You know how there's promotion out there in California that the Gorilla Summer was a gorilla? Pro Wrestling Gorilla? Yeah. Hell yeah. To me, I think on that side of the country, that's their WrestleMania. That's definitely like their Ring of Honor. Right. For sure. Right. You know, I watch they I watch their videos on YouTube and they just go crazy in there. Yeah. The vision I had, I think I, I talked to you about this, is to have every bit promotion in the United States at least bring four wrestlers here. Yeah. And we can have a WrestleMania for semi pros. See, I think Jersey Jersey All Pro? Jersey All Pro. Yes, thank you. That's our our coast. That's our PWG. But they're it. not not as big. But they are getting there. Like, what I picture is, like, you know that warehouse by uh, Racetrack over there on 44? Yeah. Put a ring in the middle of that. Put a whole bunch of seats in there. Blow some shit up. My uncle's old sheet metal shop. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny. Dude, I, every time I ride past there, I always think about a ring in there, a whole bunch yeah. of seats. We can put a tight tron in there. We know how to work projectors now. Yeah, yeah, we did it last night. <laughs> kind of. A little bit. You know, we can have curtains, we can have a, a stage, and just have independent, no big, uh, independent wrestlers. Yeah. And show their showcase in front of everybody. You just got to have the money to set it up. And I had the name for it. And, and here's my name for it. Rumble in the River. Rumble in the River. Oh, boy, I just got fired okay. up with that one. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe we need to talk to the... Uh, the other thing, there's already a promotion here. We just need to hook up with those guys. Let them there's two promotions. <laughs> What's the second one? Um, Era. Era. God, I'm sorry, guys. Entertainment. Wrestling. I'm sorry. Let me look it up. Hmm. I'll figure it it's out. It's wrestling with an R. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, I do like, I really wanted to buy one of the shirts when I went to their show. Where uh, they show weeks that? Ago. Uh, the flea market. It was a flea market show. Flea market. Howard's. Yeah, the Howard's. Uh, Howard's flea market on US 19 in Homestead. Nice. Um, Where was uh, the show last night? Armory? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah, yeah. it was at the Armory. So they're that big enough to have it at the Armory? Or did they just pay for it? Yeah, yeah, you just pay for it. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know how much it is. Uh, I've heard that it's probably around three hundred a night. Are you serious? Yeah, they're younger guys. Like they sat in front of. We didn't. Well, we didn't know it was them. I I or do. Did you? I knew the guy who I think runs it. He's friends with my fiance. I guess they went to school together, and I've met him through Bulldog. Uh, you remember the guy, the crazy guy who really wants to have a title match with me. 15 years <laughs> later, this dude's still asking Yeah. Good still Lord. has the belt. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you call him. Yeah, the, belt, the belt's <laughs> in that box right there. I'm sorry, that box right there. Don't say it. He might be listening. Uh, no, that one. I was right the first time. That box over there. Uh, well, now I'm confused. But yeah, we have uh, What, which is Wrestling Has a Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? That's what it's spelled what? out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then the other one that I love their t-shirts, and they did a great job. Uh I don't. You're. I hope you're listening, but shout out to um, Entertainment One Pro Wrestling and the sideshow people that were there at the show. Um, you guys were very entertaining. So was it Era or like E One? Uh, I think it's it's E One Wrestling, Entertainment One Wrestling. Okay. Yeah, the logo is like an E, and then a fist for the number one, and then a W. I mean, it can't be any worse than Total Nonstop Action Impact Wrestling presented by Anthem. <laughs> Fuck that owl. Fuck that owl, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Yeah, I mean, wrestling seems to be blowing up right now. Yeah. And I know in Orlando, um, the morning show I listened to, I've said it before, uh, Monsters in the Morning, they started their own wrestling company now, Monster Wrestling Organization, MWO. And nice. uh, they did a show at the Beecham a couple weeks ago, and then they're going to be uh, performing at Earth Day Birthday this year. Cool. Which... I would love to go to Earth Day birthday. Okay. Now that there's wrestling, I really want to go yeah. to Earth Day birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, wrestling seems to be blowing up all over the place. I'll tell you one thing: like doing, like I said, doing WrestleMania week, it seemed like every club in Orlando had a wrestling show. Yeah, yeah, because I know there was there's Evolve. Chikara. They did a show. Shikara did a show. Ray Mysterio was in one of them. Uh, um, the dude from uh, TNA, uh, Ethan Carter, he was in one of them. The yeah. was in one of them. It was like all spread out in mm-hmm. the whole city. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Clear that's TNA cool. did shows. On top of yeah, yeah. on top of WrestleCon. <clears throat> right. yeah. 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 And then I know someone who went to that to WrestleCon. I saw her pictures and it looked you awesome. You know what's funny? A lot of the um, podcasters that did little shows last year around WrestleMania are, were now part of WrestleMania this year. Sam Roberts and uh, Peter Rosenberg. Yeah. Yeah. They did shows separately last year and did really well. I guess WWE was like, hire those guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's what we need to do. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep on with this and <laughs> goals. Let's hope for the best. Hashtag goals. Yeah. We got like a lot that. of goals. Hashtag goals. I like that. I might put that tonight. <laughs> so did you have any other stories? I'm uh, sure you got a lot of stories. I, you know, I got, it's, I got a lot, but most of the time... I was drunk. I'll be honest. Ha! Weren't you? Uh, didn't? Weren't you like really good? With, or at least decent friends with Trent Beretta? Weren't you telling me that? Trent? Actually, yeah, that was the one that I had a chopping match with. Oh! Yeah. That was him. That was his name. Yeah, Trent. Yeah. Trent. Didn't you go? On, you were on his boat, weren't you? Yeah. Didn't you go on his boat with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You told me that. His boat. Then uh, <clears throat> me and another buddy of mine named Donnie Rogers out of Tampa. What up, Donnie? He uh musician, awesome dude, awesome dude. Like he get along with a, a goat across the street. <laughs> nice. That's how nice he is. We would uh oh dad, come on, what's the dude name? Evan Bourne. Oh Evan yeah. Bourne used to come in our bar a lot. <laughs> so me and Donnie what was I said, Evan, he said he said, What up? I said, On Mondays we go on to my buddy's yacht and sail out there in the golf. You wanna go? He said, heck yeah, dude. I said, fucking sweet. Yeah. We got, just don't jump off the boat because, you know, I want you elbowing a dolphin or some shit. You might go to jail. The shitty sorry breast the dolphin. That motherfucker, yeah. hey, that motherfucker you drink. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. He's a little dude, isn't he? He out drunk my big ass. <laughs> but he real cool, dude. You know, I wish he was still wrestling with the WWE. Who does he wrestle with now? Oh, dude, I couldn't even tell you right now. Uh, which I thought. Is there he, was, which? he was with him. He's Matt <laughs> Seidel, right? Uh, That's his real name? I think so. He will attack yes. you, wasn't he? Yes. Um, he's not in Lucha Underground, is he? Oh, I yeah. no, I don't think he is. Yes, he no, is. I think he is. John Lucha. Morrison is. Yeah, I know he is. Yes, Matt Seidel is the wolf. The wolf in Lucha Underground. Yeah. Huh. I thought he was Matt Seidel. Okay. I think my buddy Trent was uh, was a ringer on for a little bit. He Trent, yes, Trent has done well. He, yeah. he, who does he team with now? Oh, I mean <laughs> Trent. I don't know. Can to keep up with him? He can't use Trent Beretta, so it's Trent question mark. Mm-hmm. Trent? Uh, when they when they when he comes to the ring they say, like whatever, whatever, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I heard it, he was Ro- Oh, Rocky Romero. He teams with Rocky Romero now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. What's their name? I some anime <laughs> thing. I'm gonna have to Google it because I don't remember. It's something weird. Yeah, I'll look up what uh the Lucha Underground, what his name was. Oh, maybe it is just Matt Seidel. I thought so. I mean... It, it, like, but his thing is, like, the wolf. Oh, the wolf, Matt Seidel, or something like that. Something. Okay. Uh, let's see. PWG. Return to ROH. That ended in 2016. Second return to ROH. Yeah, he's back. Are you back in ROH? Yep. Last time I saw him, he was wrestling in the e with some promotion. Ebor would probably be FIP. I think it was. Full Impact yeah. Pro. He was he was a champion last time I looked him up. In Full Impact Pro used to come to Crystal River all the time. Right. Which right. is how I've seen Samoa Joe, CM Punk, uh, Brian Kendrick, mm-hmm. uh, Scotty Too Hottie, X-Pac, on and on and on. 
Uh, I actually, I got to a, I, I, it wasn't a chopping match, but I forget who it was. They were with Dave Prezak, DP Associates, nothing hurts like DP. And uh, outside, for a dollar, you get to chop one of his guys. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pay a dollar. This was while we were in uh, the WWW okay. school. So I paid this guy a dollar. I chopped the shit out of him. And the guy went, oh, damn, this kid is good. <laughs> and I think he let me do it again. He was like, do it again. So, for free or you had to do another dog? Oh, yeah, I think I had to do it for free. Oh, okay, good. It, it was pretty spot on. Matt Seidel was not in Lucha Underground. No? Um, I'm an asshole. Uh, I mixed him up with Justin Gabriel. Good night. He's now PJ Black in uh, Lucha Underground. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we never claimed to be experts. No, nah, we're not. It's one of those high flyers. You're one of them people. Jack <laughs> Evans, whatever. Jack, what is Jack Evans doing now? I know Jack Evans was in Lucha Underground. I was willing to bet that. Jack Evans. Really? Yeah, like I'm almost willing to bet money on it. The more I say it, the less money I want to put on it. <laughs> but I'm almost willing. Okay, I got like he, yeah, a he buck is. fifty. Okay, oh, I got turn to PWG. Well, that's cool. Because Jack Evans is bad. Saw him in Crystal River as well. He wrestled Drew Galloway. Very cool. Drew McIntyre. You know one thing though? I think a lot of people don't realize that Crystal River is kind of the pipeline of wrestling. Um, it, so, we so got though. mentioned by MVP in a uh, shoot interview. Mm-hmm. He yeah. talked about going down to Crystal River to the armory. My yeah. mom, back in the day when they used to have that ABC bar mm-hmm. over there, she met the big boss man. She met Rick Flair. She met all the old the pizza place? Right by the pizza place. Oh, okay. ABC yeah, yeah. Liquor used to yeah. have a bar in Yeah, it used to be a club in ABC's. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I think they ABC shot. pizza. Yeah. I missed it. I think somebody got killed over there. They, they shut that. Yeah. And they did that with a lot of ABC's, you know. Yeah. But before they shut it down, a lot of old school wrestlers came through Chris River to get to Tampa. Right. Because Tampa was the hotbed yeah. of Southern wrestling. You know, that's where everybody came. Oh, yeah. So... Everybody came down and they stopped at ABC Liquor. Yeah. Or Kokomo's. Kokomo's is over there where uh, Margarita Breeze is. Oh, okay. okay. There used to be a club over there. Okay. In the same building. It's a hotel now, I think. And they all used to come party. So my mom met everybody. And that's how I felt. She told me all the stories. And that's how I felt. I didn't know your mom was so into wrestling. Oh, like, well, she, was, she was part of WWW, but yeah, she, that was, she was like the manager there. She took me down that's to okay. Tampa. It was 1990. I want to say and they had a live show that was when you know they had the attitude area yeah ready to get kick started because of Monday Night Wars and stuff right and that was when the Stone Cold Kane Undertaker right it was when it was hot it was hot oh yeah and uh we sitting there in line and I look at my mom I'm like I can't believe I'm, this bitch is with me right now at a wrestling show <laughs> and all of a sudden you know I'm a mom man. She, oh, yeah. she started screaming yeah. if you want to see Stone Cold kick somebody's ass give me the hell yeah I'm like Oh my god! <laughs> my mom just started to chant. I love this woman. <laughs> so she takes me in the arena, and my eyes are like bigger than the damn moon, because you know I'm a little kid. And I'm at a freaking wrestling event. Oh like, yeah, it was, you know it was awesome. Man. I remember the first time I saw a real wrestling event. Yeah. It was it was awesome, man. You know, no fireworks, and I didn't care about that. I was still you know, I was scared of yeah. lightning by that, so I didn't want to hear about the fireworks. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but that experience right there alone, right, got me hooked. Yeah. Got me oh, yeah. Then I, I met y'all, and I, I was hooked. It was like, you know, a junkie getting more on junkie. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I was, yeah, because we started wrestling, and it was like, this is awesome, and I understand it more. Right. You respect the wrestling more. It's just yeah. not entertainment. It's actually a sport. Oh, yeah. Just and, because. And like, I've had know. this discussion with people before. Like, it's, it's predetermined, but it's not fake. Right. Because, right. man, you take three or four body slams, and you're sore. And the way they do it every day, people don't realize oh, what they got to go no. through. Yeah. Every day. When they get done, they got to go on a plane for two hours. Yeah. They only, they only sleep for three hours, and they got to do it all over again. And it's, it's a routine. They got, I think the only time they get a break is WrestleMania week. Because they want everybody in the, in the one city hosting WrestleMania. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't they do get all the a break, but they still have to they do still all the stuff signing. New, but, you oh, know, but they, they don't have to do matches. Right, yeah, yeah they, they yeah. ain't got to go bang their body up, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they still got to go make a, a show, you know, go show their face. And even some so, of them still have matches. Yeah. Some oh, yeah. don't they have access? Oh, yeah, usually, access got a little ring. I think it's NXT. NXT, NXT, yeah. yeah, NXT does something, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, so. that's when they show the new belts. 
but yeah. they see the, the access they showed new belts. Yeah, I was. Oh, um, okay. I, I like the new NXT belts. Yeah, they look Although, good. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the original NXT title, I love. I if if and when I buy my replica belt, it's probably gonna be that one. Because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. I, I like <laughs> I think it's really cool. It's really simplistic, but really cool. But I do love the new ones. The new ones are, they remind me a lot of the TNA belts, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give it but, that one. But yeah, now, do y'all cool. think NXT is better now with the, the stars they have or when they started? Uh, well, what do you mean when they when, when like, they when started they, or like well, when, when they, they like Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens? Yeah, Orleans when they had, yeah when they had the original and it, like when it blew up. Well, right, right now I think they're going through a bit of a down because they just lost Shinsuke Nakamura, Ty Dillinger, the revival. They, yeah, so many people stepped yeah, up. They got they got to reload. Yeah, Which but they got Drew McIntyre now. They got Bobby Roode. That is true. Uh. Uh, the Austin Theory is ever wrestled? His new opponent, you talked to me about. Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami. Is Hideo Itami's back. Did Austin Theory ever wrestle in NXT or he just commentate? Yes, um, he did. Okay. He wrestled in NXT. He also Roger Strong. A lot. Roger Strong. I love Roddy. He's the man. Okay. Uh, Austin Aries has been in the indies forever, too, though. Yeah. Right, right. I, I watched right. Austin Aries back in like 2005 when he was in like Ring of Honor. That was so surreal to see Austin Aries versus Pac Neville at WrestleMania. Yeah, I never knew Neville before NXT. He blew but up. I heard he of him blew up right before he got signed. Gotcha. He just, I don't know, he just decided he was going to wrestle for ROH and PWG and be amazing. Right, right. <laughs> and then got signed. Kalisto yes. did the same thing. It's basically uh, what uh, the, the the boys from the, the tag team, Anderson and Gallows. Yeah. That's basically what they did. They yeah, they got they real did, big they, in Japan. They came back, boom. They oh, straight on the main roster. Oh, Especially yeah. Gallows, because Gallows he, he was in WWE before. Yeah, he was, yeah, but they, they, <laughs> he was fast. He was, that was sad, you know. He was with Gallows as well. Was he? Yeah, okay. he was part of Punk's uh, faction. Oh, okay. The uh, freaking Straight Edge Society. Yeah, Straight Edge. That was pretty cool. But yeah, man, seeing Bullet Club versus the Hardys was so damn cool. Or not Bullet Club, the Club. Club Club. I I, think, you know what? The Bullet Club gonna come back. I think they're going to Somebody owns the rights to it. We're, ne- we're never going to see the Bullet Club. Don't think so? I think no. we will. I think we will, too. Because so many people show up Because AJ, shows. watch. AJ Styles is going to be on Raw. Finn Balor's we back. We just talked about this. Yeah. yeah. Look here. Yeah. When, and watch. When AJ walked on that ramp on Monday night, they're going to hold them with Pat Fingers. Yeah. Up, and their Bullet Club is back. They're going to bring that faction in WWE. And I, t- I mentioned this in another episode, so I'll make it quick. <clears throat> uh, Chris, uh, Edge and Christian, their show they have on the network. Right. Have you seen it? Yeah. They did a thing with AJ Styles. Will the WWE talk about it? And the first thing they did was, will WWE talk about the faction that AJ Styles was in right before he came over? Mm-hmm. And they said yes. And they did a whole like little segment on the Bullet Club. They said the Bullet Club. They mentioned New Japan Pro Wrestling. The whole thing. They even said it was started by Finn Balor. Right. I'm doing the uh, Finn Balor guns thing right now. Um, and then they went to, uh, will the WWE talk about the company that he wrestled for for the longest time? Then they said, uh, they, they did, will the WWE talk about the company that AJ Styles wrestled for for the longest time and really put them on the map? And they said, no, we won't talk about it. they show a about. picture of Tess and Albert? Yeah, yeah. then they yeah. showed, <laughs> it was Tess and... Trish, Albert. right? They had uh, uh, Tess and Albert and Trish. Yeah, yeah, but it was TNA. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're like, no, we won't talk about it. So they did talk about Bullet Club. So AJ Styles could come back to Raw. It's going to happen. Club. It's going to happen. Like if they didn't want to talk about, it, they won't let them do the the, the little hand gesture. Yeah. And yeah, but that, that's a click thing. Yeah, but that's <coughs> Bullet Club thing too. Yeah, Japan. See, I, I see this going. I see there's three different things about this. WWE and New Japan are kind of at odds right now because WWE went into New Japan's territory. Right. Now New Japan's coming over here, and that's pissing WWE off. Right. New Japan USA, I'm fucking yeah. excited for. But WWE is working very closely with ROH, and ROH has a partnership with New Japan. Exactly. Oh. Here's the other problem: who owns the Bullet Club? New Japan 
or AJ. Uh, AJ Styles or Carl Anderson or Luke Gallows might own the rights to the Bullet Club. If too. anyone owns it, it would be Finn because Finn started. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're yeah, right. But yeah. So, and I don't think Finn started on his own. I think it was. I a, think it was somebody else in the Bullet Club before no, AJ got it, wasn't it? Oh yeah, Finn yeah. Balor started it in Japan. Colonel Devitt. Right, yeah, Prince right. Devitt. But yeah, Prince okay, Devitt. yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Yeah, he turned on his tag team partner with Bad Luck Fale, and then uh, he did the the gun thing, and then they did the Too Sweet, and then the Bullet Club was started, and then now they have like half of pro wrestling's in the Bullet Club. And yeah. then, uh, <laughs> you know Cody Rhodes is in the Bullet Club now too. I figured that. Uh, Adam Cole's in the Bullet Club. Yeah. Uh, Frankie Kazarian was in the Bullet Club for like a week and a half. Yeah. Uh, Let me tell you about Cody. Right in the interruption. Let me tell you about Cody Rhodes. Okay. Phenomenal guy. He seems like a phenomenal awesome guy. He, he, he has the warmest heart of any wrestler. Besides Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is just downright awesome. Really? But, oh, that what? Is, that's good to hear. Chris Jericho is the nicest guy ever. Nice. You know, he... he good to hear. I like hearing these stories. Yeah, right? You know, it's like, I read up on something. I actually believe it. Him and Batista gave, like, $5,000 to, like, a group of homeless people that, that was out there in the cold. They helped them out. Nice. Who does that, wrestling? Like a lot of people, that, you know, some wrestlers are selfish and always want to, you know, want the greed for themselves. Right. But some wrestlers like helping other people out because at the end of the day, you help somebody out. I'm gonna go support you. Yeah. And stuff. So, you know, Chris Jericho and that Cody Rhodes. I wish he was still wrestling with WWE. Yeah. Because I love him. I love him. I, like I'm him? glad he's not with WWE. No. Because they don't care. They, yeah, that's true. Dude, he's that's so true. good. He should have been WWE champion two or three times. And you, I, I agree with you. But so now he's now he's off doing his own thing, which makes him happy. It really yeah, does. he's right. happier right. now. Which is funny he comes up because we were watching Arrow earlier. <laughs> season five. And I, I'm looking at the screen and it says Cody Rhodes. I'm like, uh, isn't that Cody Rhodes? <laughs> <laughs> I am a little confused right now. And then they start talking about this drug called Stardust. I'm like, oh, what Lord. the what is oh, happening Lord. right now? Search it. It's Cody Rhodes. And then Cody Rhodes gets thrown into a giant batch of stardust. Yeah. Which is probably how the character came. We need to finish that episode. Yeah. That's sad that happened in that boy, to be honest with you. No, I, I'm so happy for Cody because, like, he's on Arrow. He would have never been able to do that with WWE. Right. He's doing so good everywhere else. I'm happy for him, too. I just miss him in WWE. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I miss him. Yeah, and I, I hope he comes back eventually. When they actually do something with him, he will be a while. Yeah, I, I think he, they had a bad falling out. Yeah, I, 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 if Vince leave, he'll probably come back. Nah, it's I, not that bad. I, th- I think it is. I, I really think it is. Cody so, is one of the most charismatic, and just yeah, he's so damn good in the ring. Look, like look what he's doing, this brother. What Goldust? Yeah, Goldust. He is played Goldust. Out. That's fine though because that's, he's, that's he's an older out. guy. He doesn't need to get put over. Yeah, you know, just, just let the man point. go. Why? Why keep embarrassing himself? So, do you feel like they should let Big Show go? Personally, yeah. Yeah, I do. Even after he's gotten back into probably the best shape of his life, he could get in all the shape he wants. He's still gonna look the same in the ring. Well, well, that's fine though because like my thing is if everybody <laughs> works like Daniel Bryan, that's boring. We need monsters, which is why I like Braun Strowman. I love Braun Strowman. Yeah? That, I, that's a beast right there. I cheer yeah. for any day of the week. But yeah. it's Big Show. Let's say a Big Show and Braun Strowman get a match. Yeah. Is Big Show going to live up to the expectation that Braun Strowman gives? If Braun Strowman beats the hell out of him, that's a is good that, match. If, the, if that's what we want, then why have Big Show? Give me somebody that can you know, make a badass match. You know, the Big Show, he's going he gonna to get a little push and stuff. But at the end of the day... He gonna look, he's gonna be the same big show all the time. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But you also you need those bigger names, those older guys that can teach the younger guys and put them over. Right. That's why they go down and coach the NSC. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know. I, and I, no, no disrespect to the big show. I respect the man. I saw his video on the network. You know. So you Andrew wouldn't have been one of those guys saying, "Please retire." I, Did you see that? I saw that. That's sad. I saw that. I I wouldn't do that. You that, know, that's mean. That you know, and that's just how you know. Nine days, wrestling fans express themselves. Anger. Yeah. It's just pure anger, and sometimes it's funny. Sometimes they just need to shut the fuck up. Yeah. At the end of the day, 
in person and Rank is still a human being. Yeah. And they still got to go home. They had Big Show cried after that. He really did. And, you know, they they poke, they poke fun of him for crying on live TV. Oh, but, right. But when he goes behind that curtain, they you know, like Roman Reigns, where he beat Undertaker. He cried after that because Undertaker is his hero. Yeah. That's his hero. You know, everybody, like, yeah, if I, I had to, it too. If I faced my favorite wrestler, the Ultimate Warrior, and I had to put him out like that, I already right. saw so heartbroken. I wouldn't even show up for Raw because he was the main reason I like wrestling. That's how Roman felt with Undertaker. How do you feel about Roman's promo? It was awesome. It was it was good. It was my good. yard now. It, it was good. You know, that, he he needs to just take Undertaker's gimmick of like my yard. He that just needs to be, be Roman's just thing. A badass, he know he could be. So you're a Roman yeah. Reigns fan? I ain't, I'm I'm off and on. See, I'm off and on. <laughs> just like us. Yeah, I'm off and on. You know, if they didn't push him in hard back then, I would be a Roman Reigns fan. I feel like they're trolling us with him. I, I and give it's you that. Not his fault. I give you that. They, he just doing what they tell him to do. Yeah. You know. Which maybe he should stop. Maybe he needs to put his foot down. Put yeah, that he, fist down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if he do that, he might end up hurt. You know, like everybody else. Yeah, that's true. Too. <laughs> well, like when he came out as number job. yeah, see, yeah. You know? when he came out as number thirty at WrestleMania, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I give you that. No. That I was expecting, you know, something like you know, freaking. Ben Balor or somebody. Yeah, yeah. That's somebody, what we were hoping for. Somebody that haven't been in a while that can, you know, make everybody more excited to watch it. But you get the same shit. The dude freaking wrestled already. At the, yeah. What, the yeah. War Rumble? It's War Rumble. Yeah. He already wrestled at the War Rumble already. Why the fuck we won't see him again? Yeah, that was one of the big things that threw me off, too. He already had a match. You know, like, fucking Triple H would have came out there. I'd been, all right, it's something different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also would have been pissed about that. But. Oh, yeah, but, you know... It's, yeah. You know, I don't want to see the same guy wrestle already. And that, they used to do that back in the day. Back, you know, in the late 90s, early 90s. Oh, yeah. When everyone mm-hmm. to say they wrestled one match, also, and the son bitches back in. But it wasn't five hours long. Right, yeah. You know, so. And that's that's one thing I want to talk about. We're going to get through all this stuff. Is I like what SmackDown's doing. Two hours long. Yeah. yeah. Dude, we it's watched perfect. Raw last, last Monday. Did y'all fall asleep? Damn uh, near. Almost, yeah. I can't watch I the last really hour. Tired. I always fall asleep. I always it's, fall asleep. It's ridiculous. It's 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 too much. It it makes the creative team look dumb because they got to think about oh shit okay three hours long let's do this. Fuck it, just two hours and them go out there beat each other ass. Yes. Look what SmackDown doing. SmackDown fucking off of them. SmackDown need to be the change of colors. Yeah. You know shit. You know I, I don't know. It just WWE really is frustrated sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, like what they do sometimes. But it's like, you just want to kick somebody in the ass. Yeah. Yep. I don't know, just fuckers. Sometimes I just wish they would just let wrestling be wrestling. That's it. Yeah. But that's not what they're in the business of. They're in the too, business much, of too much daytime story. entertainment. Too much daytime story talk, less wrestling. It doesn't bother anybody else that they don't refer to anyone as wrestlers anymore. Superstars. Does that bother you? Eh, not really. I don't even I really don't even pay attention to it. It bothers me. It bothers me every time. Every time I hear superstar, I'm just like, like they won't call the championship the belt or title or that. I get because I think you're the one who told me why they can't call it a belt. Why is that? Because a belt is something you hold your pants up with. Oh, but yeah, I think Vince Man said that. Yeah, and that that's understandable. Okay, don't call it a belt because it's something you hold your pants up. With. All right, fine. It's a title. It's a. Uh, it's a. I I don't see why they couldn't call it a strap. They used to. The strap yeah, sometimes. because you know, if you call it a strap, they gotta have that crown time come back. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I, man. The Usos aren't the new crown time. I love, yeah, I love what is Usos up with that? Oh, good grief. <clears throat> oh, man, I'll tell you what, they just need to go back to Hawaii and get their minds right. Where the fuck they're from. You know, it just. They, I, you know, I thought they both of them legit. They, did, they, did they get hurt? No. I don't think so. I thought they got hurt and they came back pissed off. They get dropped on their head? Good God, God. I don't know. What. <laughs> Did they forget who they were? You know, that that makes them look bad. I thought the Samoan thing was cool. They're like, okay, now we'll evolve it. Right. And like, no, we're not going to evolve it. We're just going to become one rats. We're going to be crying. Wait, 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 guys. So slow down. It, it, it don't look right for them. You know, it's not their look. It's yeah. not their personality. I it's them. not like you, you can tell they're trying so hard to be. You ever like, watch Total Divas? Yeah. Like that's not either one of those right, dudes. Right, right, like they're right. kind of like kind of thuggish. They're just 
Like they're that they come from that environment, I think, because like Rikishi kind of acts like that too. Well, you know, they was, they but were, they're not. They lived in Pensacola, so they lived their life a little bit. Right. But they was raised the right way. Right. And stuff. They was raised in a wrestling family where you know they respect wrestling. They, right. You know stuff like that. And they weren't raised like Rikishi. I'm sure made good money. Right. But he was. They they were raised like middle class. I would bet. Right. But they, they weren't. <laughs> they didn't grow up in the hood. No, hell no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I seriously no. doubt it. No, them two and Roman Reigns, they went to the same high school there in Pensacola, right. in Scambia. They played football up there. And, and I remember watching their story on the network. You know, they, uh, what was their, what was their uncle name? The one that uh, passed away. Oh, Alpha? No, he had the thumb. Oh, oh, Umaga. oh Umaga. Umaga. I remember they tell oh, no, Alpha, no, you, you're, never mind. I'm yeah. thinking Alpha because Brian made a figure for somebody uh, yeah, right? yeah. Um, uh, office school. Yeah, did I tell you about that? No. Uh, yeah, I met. <clears throat> I posted some custom wrestling figures I made, and someone was like, "Oh, I, do you think?" He, or they said something like, "I'm looking for someone to make me a Sam Houston action figure." Hmm. I was like, "I'm not sure who that is. Send me some pictures, and I'll see what I can do." Um, and she sent pictures, and I was like, "Uh, yeah, let me. I'll give it a shot." Uh, if you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. Uh, but I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> and she was like, okay, well, we're doing a show with Sam Houston soon. Can you think you'll have it done by then? I was like, yeah, I could probably do that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you're doing a show. Well, that's cool. And then I went, like, while I was messaging her, I looked at her Facebook page. She was out of Spring Hill. I was like, oh, you're in Spring Hill. We can just meet up. I don't even have to ship this to you. Right. I was like, maybe I can meet you at the show. I couldn't go to the show for some reason. I forget why. Um, but the show was in, like, Mineola, which is, like, an hour... That's over by me, I think. Uh, pr- probably. Over there in Claremont? Uh, yeah, it's by Claremont. Yeah, that's over by me. So, uh, I was like, yeah, it's a little far. I don't think I had anyone to go with. Um, but I was like, yeah, I can meet you uh, the day before the show and get you your Sam Houston figure. She loved it. Um... Turns out she goes to, I don't know if she goes to the Wild Samoan School or if she just wrestles for WXW, which is the Wild Samoan's uh, promotion. Right. But uh, they were like, yeah, if you come out, because I met her and her husband, and he was like, yeah, if you come out, make sure we know, and we'll, uh, we'll get you back there to meet Appa. Because uh, they call him Papa. And they're right. like, we'll get you back there to meet Papa. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, man, that would be so cool. But couldn't make it. They also had a show last night. No, oh, okay. For the same reason. We couldn't make it. Right. A lot of Florida right. wrestling. But, it's, it's, uh, it's getting big out there, and I love it. April 29th, I believe, is their next show. So we might be able to make it to that. We need to make their appearance. Where is it? Mineola. It's about an hour. Oh, I'm maybe. working. Never mind. I'm in Orlando that day, though. But I'm coming home earlier. Oh. Because the 28th I'll, I'll be is I'll, Let's Play Live. Oh, that's we're right. we're staying the night, and then coming back that day. <clears throat> I'll be over there, then. Yeah, I'll maybe we can meet up at the yeah. Mineola show. I'm down with that. Yeah, get get uh, pictures and stuff for the website, futurevillains.com. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'll see if I can set up some interviews with some people. Cause that they, would be awesome. They know a lot of people. They uh, Apparently the husband ran a promotion up in Tennessee or something. So they know people. So, And I, I need to make two more figures of them. They commissioned that too, but in the move it all kind of got... Yeah. A little screwy, but if you guys are listening, I'll, get, I'll, I'll make them. I haven't forgotten. Uh, Brittany Diamond and her husband, whose name escapes me right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at names and everything. Yeah, we found that out, especially this podcast. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> getting old. My mind's slipping. We all get old. Body time. slipping, mind slipping, everything <laughs> slipping. Mind slipping. That's what's wrong with the Usos. They're just going crazy. And yeah. speaking of Usos, I guess I miss Matt now. They're champions? Oh, yeah. That sucks. They're tag team champions, yeah. Oh, I just saw a picture of that. They yeah. beat I, mean, I just looked at it right here. Yeah, they beat American Alpha and then didn't have a match at WrestleMania. And I'm Was looking at this. Them and Naomi? Yeah, I'm looking at this, and it looks like I'm looking at a fucking DMX show. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. You know, it, this is not the Usos. Right. This crop time looked better than this shit. Yeah, they did. They, you know, because they were they, more on the nose with it too. They were criminals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 
Yeah, fuck the hood rat Usos. We just don't need it. It's, it's unnecessary. We don't need to bring the slang back to the WWE. Give yeah. the titles back to American Alpha where they fucking belong. Uh, I love American Alpha. They're all right. They're awesome. They're all right. I think they might go to Raw. You know what they're oh. from? You know that's why they made it drop the titles. If they, you know why they gonna go to Raw? Because Kurt Angle. Angle. Yeah, because <laughs> exactly. Kurt Angle. That needs to happen. If it doesn't happen, that's stupid. I give you that one. Yeah. Turn him heel. Make Kurt Angle. He'll put him in all the good matches. Yeah, that. I mean, that right know, there. How you think Kurt Angle gonna do as a GM? Ain't the great. Yeah. 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 I like it. I like that move. I um, like. I like that. Um, Teddy Long came out before. Yeah. Him. Oh I mean, God, you know what? Funny. I miss Teddy Long. And you know, there's uh this page on following in Orlando. There's WWE fans of Orlando. A good shout out to them. Fabulous page. You know, good people on there. Nobody talks shit. Everybody's yeah, you just had me on there. Yeah. It's pretty no, good. I it's had pretty you on there too, Jacob. Oh, okay, cool. You know, it's it's a nice page. Everybody get along. You know, that's where I found a lot of the wrestling events around Orlando doing WrestleMania week. Yeah. You know, I tagged you all on there. You know, they was you know that's where I found all them shows on, and uh, uh, somebody it was a different website, but somebody posted on the WWE fans on uh, Orlando yeah. about Teddy Long. You know, why does he deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Dude, I I knew this before the Hall of Fame thing. I don't remember when I learned it. I didn't know how long Teddy Long was in the wrestling business. Oh, he was in there for a good ages. Yeah, he did everything. A lot of people, everybody thought he was just a GM of SmackDown back in the day. He was. He uh, paid his dues. He deserved to be in there. Referee, uh, right? He was referee Originally. for the longest. That's that's kind of where I remember him. Yeah, uh, the referee. Yeah, but yeah. Before referee, he was all behind the scenes. Yeah. Oh, okay. He he was uh, a manager for a long time. Hmm. He Teddy did a lot of stuff, you know, and you know a lot. And this was wrong with a lot of wrestling fans. They too quick to say shit without looking up before they talk. Might sound like us. But, <laughs> but 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 <laughs> us, we're educated. We just speak in our mind, but we know what's going on. Yeah, I know shit. I just I occasionally mix people up. The new generation of wrestling fans, they just they got a mouth and they just want to use it. Without, That's true. You know, looking up what the hell they talking about first. Yeah. And, and, and you know, it's it's ruining like us. We get pissed off seeing that shit because that's what turns people away from wrestling. People like that. Yeah. And all that shit. So if everybody could, could please just do your homework. Before you open your mouth, it's very true. You know we can make wrestling great again. You know. Oh uh, here we go. <laughs> careful, with, careful with that phrase. Hey, hey, I use it like I'm gonna make my toilet great again when I go use it. I use it all the time. And it's, you know, it's fabulous. It's a fabulous phrase, right? <laughs> That's what uh, Zeb Coulter is using that TNA. I love wrestling Zeb. Again. I miss Zeb. That was a good dude. Yeah, he, that was he's, a good. He's dude. pretty awesome. He was. Like, he did a lot in the wrestling business too. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't realize. Been around forever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Teddy Long is like, they made him a real goofy ass character in WWE, but that's fine because well, yeah. it, 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 it fit him though, you know. Tag team. Holla, let me holla. But uh, Jago, I wanna. I heard you had some beef with some certain guy. I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you gonna fight JVL? Yeah, I mean, I... I <laughs> you know, the shit out of your ass. <laughs> Look at that. I, I, I was going to say, yeah, my voice cracked. I might, internally, I got scared. <laughs> if it happens, I'll jump in with you. I'm just going to steal his boots. Will you? Hell yeah. Would you fight, would you fight JBL I'll for me? Ass if I was drunk enough. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> Give me a couple of fireballs and some shine. I'll beat his ass all night long. <laughs> You're going to be in a bar. We're going to get Brooks drunk and JBL's going to sit down. He's going to go... Oh, <laughs> it's happening. Oh, Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, can, I can see it. You know? I can see it, yeah. Hey, that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> Old son bitch. I love that dude. But yeah, well, I whoop his ass. You know, ain't no big deal with me. He needs his ass whoop anyway. Just ask him to do the Texas 2 stuff and just fall over. Oh, and yeah, why you, why you keep bringing this up? What does that mean? I don't know. That's what he calls it when he was doing his little dance down to the ring. And he oh, when he fell? Over. Yeah. That, that, was that, that wasn't was the only funny. time. I've seen it a couple others. I've seen it every time I go on YouTube, I see that crap. It's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. I have to rewind like five times just to get a good laugh at it again. And <laughs> the reason I have a problem with JBL is like 
So I'm a I'm a nerdy fat guy. So when I was growing up in high school, people tried to pick on me, right. and after a while, I got tired of it. I started fighting back. I hate bullying. Oh, I agree with you. Passion, one hundred percent, brother. I yeah. I would fight bullies all the time. All night long. I'm a bully, bully. <laughs> That's why I have a problem with JBL. Right. Because you kind of get it on TV. He's a heel. That's fine. It's but a yeah. Yeah, he's. I prefer the Jim Ross heel. Not Jim Ross. The King. The King, yes, Jerry Lawler. Yeah. That's funny to me. That's fine. So, yeah, JBL apparently is a major bully, and I know about ribs and wrestling. That's fine. When guys, though, uh, apparently Randy Orton shits in people's bags. That's weird. That's ah. weird. Okay. I've heard that. I think the Bellas started saying that. I don't know. Uh, you hear yeah, weird yeah, shit yeah. on shoot interviews. Fuck the Bellas. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so supposedly, Justin Roberts, he wrote a book, and, and part of it, he talked about JBL bullying him. Some of the shit's not okay. Like, a few examples are, he would throw his bags down the street and call them dipshit and numb nuts. And it, that, why are you still alive? You should go kill yourself. Right, right. Fuck That's that. Fun. What a prick. Uh, someone stole his passport when he was in the UK. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and and they never returned it. So I, he got stuck at the U.S. Embassy. Now, today, I think, John Morrison said, yeah, JBL told me to steal it. Tried to get me to. John Morrison didn't do it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, when they were on, on tour in Japan, Justin Roberts, they split up the restaurant between heels and faces. And JBL made the, all the buses pull over and made Justin Roberts move from the face bus to the heel bus so they could pick on him. Oh, God. <laughs> so, that sounds like him. Now, one thing that pissed me off <clears throat> the most, and the teenager was interviewing JBL, he dropped his notes. JBL asked the kid's mom if she had any children who weren't mentally disabled. Oh, jeez. What the hell? That sounds worse than ECW. I don't. I can't think of any terrible things ECW did. I love ECW and it's a good night, man. It's, JBL seriously needs to be put in a cage match, and somebody beat the shit out of him. No, JBL defended himself. He said, "I won't answer net rumors, but I didn't take Justin Roberts' passport. Could have been anyone. He was hated by the whole crew. He's an idiot." <laughs> and you know what? And I was the same way with you in the high school. I got bullied. Yeah. You know, but I grew up from that, and now, like you, I fight bullies. But, but big guys, we can stand up for ourselves. Right, right. Justin Roberts. He's not a wrestler JBL? at all. Oh, my God. He'd get killed. That dude play, probably plays croquet with the old people at the old house. Yeah. <laughs> this son bitch probably know how to do a hip toss. So, of course, JBL going to pick on the smaller guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I did That's the biggest something. pussy thing to me when right. you pick on the little guy. That's right. That's right. And uh, the Hurricane, you know, everybody knows the Hurricane. He even said something about JBL and his bullying. I think um, a lot of people have. You know how, I think it was him, he said, you know, JBL told him to come. No, it was, uh, was it a Hurricane? Oh, crap. It was somebody, JBL told him to come down to the bar. He was getting slapped drunk like he always do. And they were scared. They was like, I don't feel like getting my ass for it. Yeah, fair enough. You know, because I guess back in the day, you know, you got to pay your dues if you don't get called to the main roster. Yeah. And all that. So they were scared they were going to get their ass up in front of everybody. And, you know, he stood Fuck up JBL. That. You should never have to worry about that, no matter where you, know, you are. Everybody grown. Y'all in it for the same yes, thing. Yes, right. Act like, you know, act professional. Why, you know, if I was on the main roster... And JBL came with me and told me to do something. I said no, and he gonna try me. I'll be in fucking jail. <laughs> Fuck, I'm all man Johnson. That bitch ass. Yeah, but like you want me to pay your du- my my dues? Hey, I fuck. Uh, does Vince okay with me being here? Fuck you. I mean, it, it's almost like when I was working at a store one time, a guy wanted me to work off the clock. He like, you want me to tell the manager? You, you refuse to work. Like, do you want me to tell the manager you want me to work off the clock? That's right. You uh-huh. dipshit. Like, I got you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck that. And now, supposedly, we've lost Mauro Ronaldo because of JBL. That's sad. Fuck 
fuck JBL? Fire his ass. That is so sad. Supposedly, yeah. Coachman's not fo- covering WWE on ESPN anymore right. because of JBL. ESPN, they got rid of the WWE segment, which is bad for WWE. Yeah. Because that exposed a nationwide audience. Well, WWE will still be on ESPN, but we're not going to get the insight of Coach. I don't think they're even going to do it. Who, who going to cover it? Coach said they will. They will? Yes. But and, Coachman's not doing it anymore. You know, if ESPN find out why... Well, oh, well, they know. I'm sure. It, just, it the shit needs to stop. It Fire needs him. to stop. You know, it's not old school no more. You know, it's not WCW. It's not ECW. It's not you know the old promotion. Yeah. It's a new generation. It's a new era. Cut mm-hmm. the bullshit and make yeah. us happy. Give us what we want. You think we want to see a grown man cry because he get bullied by a dipshit? Kick his ass. Yeah. Kick his ass. You know. But first of all, he sucks at being a heel because he just sounds so damn stupid. He he's just an asshole. You know, I that's really why like, I say I like Jerry Lawler more because Jerry was like, "How come Jerry <laughs> stopped on SmackDown? He was with Jimmy. How come he stopped being a heel?" Yeah, I don't know. See if they replaced. Oh no, Jerry's not doing anything anymore. No, oh that's right. Yeah, probably because he was he was on SmackDown with yeah. Jimmy, and all of a sudden he just took off. They just need to let. Uh, Corey Graves, Byron Saxton, uh, Mauro Ronaldo needs to come back. I wish he would, dude. And uh, just, I mean, they've got good commentators. Uh, oh my god, I can't think of his name. The guy that was lead commentator at WrestleMania for, oh my god. The skinny boy, the glasses? Yes. Uh, He's awesome. I'm drawing a blank too, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, he was pretty good. He was good. Tom Phillips. Yeah. That's right. He's great. He is our the new generation's Michael Cole. Absolutely, yeah. Michael Cole's yeah. still going to be around for a long time. Right, oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll give it that. It I, just it sucks that the one dude left right before Mania. We don't know for sure that he's left yet. I I hope that he's trying to get people to get JBL fired. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> JBL lips so fucking he oh he probably kissed so much ass he know what Triple H gonna have booty hole looks like. Well, it just probably but. I mean, at some point, you have to know, even, you know, if he's been around, he's been around forever. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. He's and a bully. You've got to. You've got to. Yeah, when you yeah. see that you're losing out on certain opportunities because of it, like the ESPN thing. Right. And Mauro or, Ronaldo. Yeah, when you're losing talent, uh, yeah, you've got to do something. They know what the hell going on. Yeah. They just ain't going to do nothing about it. And okay. that's what's going to hurt that business. That's okay. what's going to hurt. Because people ain't going to like that. That's what's going to hurt SmackDown. Because SmackDown right now, to me, is a better show. Yeah, right now. Yeah. And that's what's going to hurt SmackDown. That dude voice, what's his name? Mauro Ronaldo. His voice that I own there hurts. Mamma mia! Because, <laughs> I love you know, it! That's he, the guy who knows, like... Uh, is that the guy who knows, like, every move? He's the, the yeah. color commentator, yeah. Right. Like, super knowledgeable? Yes. Okay, yeah. That guy's great. He was a UFC commentator before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He's to me like the Jim Ross of SmackDown. Yep, you know, he is. Of this generation. You know, Jim Ross' voice fit in with yeah. the Raw. He's the voice, but he has the knowledge of Jerry. Right, right. He's a very knowledgeable man. And I, re- I love listening to him talk about yeah. you know, wrestling and stuff. And it just sucks to see somebody that special with that kind of talent. Yeah, and That yeah. kind of craft just you know, go away just like that. Did you watch the Cruiserweight tournament? No, I didn't Morrow watch and Daniel Bryan they did commentary. Did. That's, yeah. that's all. I bet oh, it was my God. Awesome. That's worth watching for their commentary. <laughs> then those matches are incredible. Right. I love 205 Live. Right? Yeah, 205 Live is awesome. But, yeah, the, the tournament itself was was incredible. They need to do something with 205, though. Uh, they probably will. I didn't, they didn't do it fast, you know. You know, like, I, so I watch Raw and stuff, and... And I sit there and I watch them. First of all, they need to stop switching damn ropes to that purple shit. You know, yeah. Purple. I don't know. I like it. Oh, yeah. You, you like, like it? it? Purple's my favorite color. So. I love purple. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But good night. Stop changing fucking ropes. We were pissed <laughs> off at WrestleMania because Aries and Neville were the first match. And Brian's like, oh, they have to change the ropes. Right. Yeah. Oh, they they, they ain't going to freaking do that in the middle yeah. of WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> it's big ass ring. They, they, they change the ropes and then change it back for the rest of the night. Yeah. So <laughs> that's that's what I was like. All right, it makes sense for them. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. First. Right. But I like it. It gives them the like a sense of identity. Like they're yeah. Oh, like Sin Cara when they had the fucking lights off and he yeah, was in the dark. 
That was stupid. I don't, I don't remember that. Remember you remember that when he first I don't came like you in? Watching wrestling then. When he, I, I went to an event in Tampa. It was Extreme Rules. I, I think it was. And uh, that was my, actually my first time seeing Sin Cara. Was it all of the lights or most of the lights in the arena? All the lights was off except for the lights. It, they had blue the, yeah, and yellow lane. lights. Yeah. And it was basically like a dark. It was <laughs> a dark match. Don't know why he did that, but it sucked. Supposedly, it was because of his mask. I, yeah. I don't I, We have to do some research. You ever seen the videos of uh, him when he would jump into the ring for his yeah. entrance and he'd miss or he'd hit the yeah. ropes? Yeah. You know, one thing with that, speaking of that entrance, I was walking to my seat with a beer and I wasn't expecting a big pile. And let me tell you one thing, y'all. The fucking pyro in WWE is freaking loud. Yeah. <laughs> this shit's loud. Like, out WrestleMania, I was outside, and that's it scared the shit out of me. And I'm across the dadgum lake. Yeah. In the arena, good night. He's like you're in World War Two. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So like, Sin Cara jumped on the trampoline, and all of a sudden, doom! I spilled my beer on somebody's kid. <laughs> I bought my ice cream. I feel bad. I bought my ice cream. Jeez. Damn. Like, that shit. Uh, like, damn! <laughs> I lost my damn beer. No, but <laughs> audio yeah. spike on that. You're gonna think you're gonna have to edit it now. Yeah. Oh really? No, that's no, fine. Oh, okay, good. I have to listen to it anyways. But uh, yeah, that shit's loud. So if you if you have not been to a live event, I'm warning you now. Just don't sit by the damn stage. Yeah. Don't sit I by the stage. <laughs> I'm the only one who hasn't been to a live event actually. Good grief, Ryan. Yeah, we need to go. I've never been to one. House I mean, shows aren't too much. Um, the I'm, team, the televised one. That's what the house shows. They don't do all that. But yeah. my thing is I don't want to go I don't want to pay $300 to have a nosebleed nosebleed ticket I would rather go to a smaller show I'd rather go to an indie show the pay, the, one, the, the show I went to the uh, pay per view only paid like 20 bucks what? And how? I, was that. I don't have a clue were they decent tickets? 25 20 $25 and I was sitting up for that well I mean did you did you see everything just fine? Well, you're going to see everything perfect and wrap them you know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a fucking ring in the middle of the arena. You can see that perfect anyway you sit. The, to me, the seat she, uh, Seamus gave me, I sat on the second row behind the hockey bit, uh, wall. Right. right. And them seats to me suck because when everybody stand up, you have to stand up too. Uh, right. To me, if you sit higher, that somebody stand up, it won't bother you. Right. It won't bother you, but you know. And all the signs. Oh, well, yeah. And, you know. <laughs> You that low, everybody. No, but yeah, you know, it depends where you sit. But either way, you still gonna get a good view. You gonna, you gonna, the atmosphere is gonna like get you off fire. You are gonna start chanting shit you ain't know you can say. Yeah, you know, so it's pretty cool. Bottom line, go to the live shows. Also, yeah. go to your indie shows. Support yes, support, support, support indie the indie wrestling. Absolutely. I go, I go to as many indie shows as I can. I'm always working. I love them. I love indie shows. I want. I'll go to a big. A, a big event show one day. Yeah. I, I would love, you know, if the Indies can have their own network. Well, they, they do. They, uh, they, we'll talk about that on the next episode. Sounds good. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for this podcast. This has been another episode of Future Heels with my guest, or well, no, my co-host, Brian, our guest, Jeremy. Uh, you can find us at futurevillains.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. You can also find me on YouTube and Twitch that way. And you are what Brian Man Twenty Five on Twitter, Brian Man Eleven Thirty Eight on Instagram. You have a Twitter? Yeah, it's uh, Jeremy Bruce Forty Two. Awesome. Follow Jeremy on there. And until next time, let's stop. <laughs>